Hero of Reporting. Hello comrades. So, new build. It was supposed to be Raider Cyclone, with tons of movement speed. But, Cyclone is bad, Raider as well. Hopefully they do something with melee in 3.25, Mark promised. Then, we made a poll, and Death Soth won. But, there is a couple problems with this. First, we made a video about Death Soth just 11 months ago. And guess what, nothing changed. Except this game has whole new end game stuff. So yeah, Death Soth is really in a bad position at this point. And don't get me wrong, there is a 5 videos about Death Soth on this channel. The explosions from Profane Bloom. It's one of the best feeling in this game. But right now, it's just really simple mapper, without any potential. So that's why, we came up with this idea. Hierophant, Permarage, Archmage Spark. As always, delete all the items, and start from zero. So yeah, that's the idea. We use Archmage, and this helmet, and have pretty much Perma Berserk. And yes, Divergent Berserk was deleted, but less damage taken, and movement speed is still with us. Also, Berserk can be automated with this new gem, which makes it 100 times better. And, this is not Widow Hail version, just pure classic ones. As you can see, we was leveling with Arc, and then respect into Spark, after we get this node. If you want to be more efficient during the campaign, try something different. And if you don't know why Archmage so popular right now, it's all because GGG changed how this skill works. Before, Archmage scales with mana cost, now it gives you damage based on your unreserved maximum mana. So now, we can reduce our mana cost, and it doesn't reduce our damage. So, Kitaba is dead, let's buy our first items. Brian Arat Whalers, pretty good budget spark unique boots. Two wants, with cast speed, mana, but most importantly, projectile speed. To feel good, we need at least 150%. Some random 5 link body armor. Helmet, mind spiral, tons of mana, and energy shield, good, and cheap unique. Just casual rare amulet. Same with rings. And, let's test our damage. Well, DPS is pretty low, since we are using projectile speed, and pierce support. So, here is my starter Atlas 3, Expedition, and Delve. And spoiler, Expedition is really bad, without scarabs. To be honest, Alk and Go strategy is dead. Everyone have to use at least some scarabs, it's mandatory. First good drop, from Ritual, GGG, stop baiting me. Thank you Rog, but, Expedition is still bad, just because it's a craft league and nobody needs good items with full D1 mods. We can use this belt. Alright, we can finally buy 6 link body armor. Good enough. And helmet. Zoom zoom incoming. And, uber laugh. Nameless Seer. Headhunter incoming? Not today. So, we need new wand. Found this one, with projectile speed fractured mod. And, we're gonna use Essence of Misery. Well, this one is decent. But, we need percentage damage, because we already have tons of flat damage from our Archmage. And second what? Well, at least something. So, we broke again. Danning Expedition is only 10 chaos, 
That's actually sad. So, quick upgrade for our build. Militate and Faith Timeless Jewel, right here, to get this extra 12 more damage, since we have 4 minimum power charges. At series step, good boots, with a lot of suppress. And, we got our first egg. So, we can buy at Cert's foible. And spark level 21. Actually big upgrade this time. And, cloak of flame, because we have problem with our max physical hit. Lightning coil is better, but resistances is the problem at this point. Now we finally have decent effective hit pool, and damage. So, we can try something new, ultimatum, it may be sleeper over power strat. Alright, let's reroll this thing. Well, playing this game without scarabs is a torture. But there is a easy way to get free money, the Black Morgan 6 Link Craft. So, we need new big cluster jewel. And medium, with projectile speed, and pierce. Watcher's Eye, with lightning damage mod. Immutable force, free anti-stun, so we can use different pantheon. Gloves, with suppress fractured mod. As always, we're using misery essences. Well, not bad actually. Now we don't need to use pierce support. Boots, with 30% fractured movement speed. The footage is lost, but we use shrieking essence of misery, and this is the result. Couple random rings, with mana regeneration, mana, cast speed, and resistances. And this belt. So, this time it's serious, new atlas tree, with ritual, of course, heist, destructive play keystone, and betrayal, with those scarabs. Well, destructive play is actually good. But, we can't just spam one map, which is sad. First Katarina. And we got Veldorb. Why people hate new betrayal. Now we can afford even better upgrades. Better gems. And couple raw slams. That was lucky, maybe. Here is the new strat. Instead of using Regal on a magic jewel, we corrupt them when they are magic. Because turns out, they could be very expensive. Well, just like that, Spexing into Betrayal was a good idea. Kinda sad that Headhunter is pretty cheap. Well, we just played for a couple hours, and now we are ready for big upgrades. And first of all, we need to fix Ailment's problem. And easiest way to fix it, is this jewel, combining with Essence of Torment. So, Boots, with 13% Fractured Suppress. And, all we need, is tier 1 Chaos Resist. Finally. Then, we use Eldritch Chaos Orb. And we really need at least 25% movement speed. Good. Now we need to remove useless prefix, with Eldritch Orb of an ultimate. Perfect, and here is the result. We can get the rest 40% from implicit on a boots, but 5% action speed is just better. Instead, 
we can craft the rest of the avoid shock from the belt, using low tier essence of torment. So, we need redeemer stygian vice belt, with 20% life and mana catalyst, we need mana recovery rate, big mod for our build. After couple annulments, and slams, we got this. Not bad actually. New ring, with mana regen, cast speed, energy shield, and resistance. And, let's slam it with redeemer's exalt orb. Sometimes lucky. Better helmet, with more strength, and rage sustain. And another ring, cogwork base. As always, deafening essence of misery. Well, end, D1 cast speed. Good enough. And last piece, timeless jewel, this time, with reduced mana cost. So, let's test the build. Well, 2 million DPS, big effective hit pool, sustain, and, super fast build, soon, it will be monster. And by the way, if you like this video, leave a like, or comment, or both, see ya in the next videos, comrades.